Hello, my name is Mircea Sociu. Thank you for including my work into your uh, show and um, thank you for using my work into promoting the show. Um, I was asked to talk a little bit about my practice and of course about uh, the painting in the show. So um, I will start with talking a little bit about my background which I guess it's it's important because it's related to the work. So um, I grew up uh, in a troubled place, in a troubled country at the border of uh, the Western uh, civilization and well, in a happy family. And um, the troubled country provided me with uh, my interests into uh, the political perspective into art and my happy family provided me with my interest into um, art in general, into the language of art and to developing uh, the language of arts in the end. So um, talking about the piece that is present in your show, um, uh, the roots of, of the image are, are uh, multiple. I mean, the first uh, approach is that, or explanation is that, uh, okay, well, the image is taken from uh, an early black and white ad from the 40, 40s or 50s, and uh, it's related to the surrealist uh, movement, especially to, to Magritte. Um, to be brief, uh, there are questions related to identity, um, to uh, the relationship between uh, the figures and backgrounds, and uh, the color codes. Um, so to to start with the the, the uh, uh, first of of it's the, the the first question. I I I started using uh, well into creating this image. I started uh, using a black and white image. Um, uh, it's a cut cutout. So. Um, doesn't really mean a lot the the source of the image um i was looking uh for for uh, an image strong enough to deliver to be powerful powerful enough to to reach out and um moving on um, so i decided to recolor the the black and white picture my intervention was discreet, was minimal, um, and my aim was to uh, arrive at an image which uh, developed a, a relationship with, uh, with uh, the background, which is a uh, flat. Uh, so it's, it's uh, a uh, relationship between abstraction and uh, representation. It's a challenging, uh, idea and I think that it's quite interesting nowadays. Um, I decided to erase the, the background to uh, lift the weight of time. So it's, it's a timeless image. It's, it's what I'm thinking about uh, what should be an iconic image. Um, moving on uh as as gesture of the the image is painted in in uh, uh post impressionist manner um which makes you uh, feel i don't know uh, comfortable and into uh, uh 
be able to approach the image without uh, difficulties. Um, my aim is to um, create uh, images that are uh, simplified and that simplicity should be um, fair enough for you to engage. So um, I'm trying to arrive at an image that is um, friendly, that is um, easy to get. Um, moving on, uh, 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 related to um, identity, so as, as mentioned probably before, um, I uh, was back then when the image was created pretty into uh, pretty uh, uh, um, close to the surrealist uh, movement and especially to to uh, Magritte. So I. Um, decided to, to approach this um, thing in which you uh, reveal by not revealing. So it's a sort of hiding in plain sight. Uh, it's an interesting move because, uh, you know, um, dealing with uh, representation, it's, it's tricky. Uh, it, uh, it puts you in a strange uh, uh, position into talking too much so my aim is to to cut the narrative and uh, to to hide enough but build a symbolical image so i hope uh, that i'm arriving at this this moment in which um the image that I am, I'm creating is, is uh, catchy or um, is, is, is uh, provoking you to, to, to um, move on and to find your own answers. Uh, choosing the title, wow, with just a uh, cherry on top. I mean, uh, of course, the whole image is, is uh, built uh, in, in such ways that, that it's puzzling. So in the end, uh, the title WOW is just pushing you further into um, thinking more and, and trying to reach and trying to understand more and trying to develop your own answer. Um, I hope you're enjoying the image and um, all the best.